Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this film strip. First open a new document, change the fill to black and get rid of the stroke. Now press the letter M for the rectangle tool or select it from the toolbar panel and single click on the artboard. Type 220 mm for the width and 35 for the height. Click OK. Click on the artboard one more time and this time set the width to 36 and the height to 24. Let's change the fill of the small rectangle to green. Using the selection tool, move it up to align vertically with the center of the black strip. Next click on it, hold and drag to make a copy. Then press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard three more times to make more copies. Next go to Layers, open the sublayers and lock all the layers with the green rectangles and the black strip. In the next few steps we'll create holes on both sides of the strip. First let's zoom in on the first rectangle and change the fill to a different color. Now draw a small rectangle and make sure it is aligned with the left side of the green rectangle. Let's round the corners. Click on the Live Corners widget, hold and drag. Make the radius to be around 0.7 mm. You can see it in the grey box next to the cursor. Now click on it, hold and drag to make a copy. Make sure to align this shape with the right edge of the green rectangle. Next we'll make 6 more copies and space them equally. To do that select both blue shapes, then go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, change the spacing to specified steps and type 6. Go to Object again, Blend and choose Make or press V, Ctrl, Alt and B keys on your keyboard. Next we need to expand all the blue shapes. To do that go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Go to Object one more time and choose Expand. Now we will copy all the blue shapes and paste them above the other green rectangles. First select the blue shapes and then holding down the Shift and Alt keys Move them to line up with the next green rectangle. Then press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard several times to make more copies. Now drag a box to select all the blue shapes and let's copy them to the bottom. In the next step we'll punch holes in place of the blue shapes. To do that first go to Layers and unlock the layer with the black strip. Now press the Ctrl and A keys on your keyboard to select everything. Then go to Pathfinder. If you can't see it go to Window and select Pathfinder. And now choose Minus Front. Finally go to Layers again and move the black strip layer to the bottom. And you are done. Now I will show you how to replace the green shapes with photographs. First let's unlock all the layers with the green rectangles and zoom in on this area. Now switch to the selection tool and click on the first green rectangle to select it. Next go to the bottom of your toolbar and click on the draw inside icon. Notice that Illustrator marked the area with dashed line corners. This indicates that the area is now active and ready to use. To insert a photograph go to File, Place, find your photo and click Place. Now click just above the top left corner of the green rectangle and drag your mouse beyond the opposite corner. Then click on the Draw Normal icon to deselect. And let's do the same with the other green shapes. Select the next shape, click on the Draw Inside icon Go to File, Place, choose a photo and click Place. And again. If you wish to replace any of the photos, first click on it, 
Then go to layers, open the sub layers with the selected photo and click on the blue square next to the photo to select it. Next go to the tab toolbar, click on your photo's file name and choose relink. Now select a different photo and click place. Finally, if you would like, you can create a clipping mask. First select everything and group it together. Let's resize it and rotate it. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard. Finally select everything and then press the Ctrl and number 7 keys on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.